Hey there, Bridge family, it's Pastor Jeff. And today I'd like to talk to you about the rolling nature of storms, trials, and fires. The rolling nature of storms, trials, and fires. We know that as believers, as the church, we've seen now through God's word that we should expect an ongoing life filled with storms, trials, and fires. And we can know and rest in the fact that whether they come through natural disasters, spiritual warfare, or our own mistakes, the reality is we're going to be tested as believers. We're going to be purified and we're going to grow through these trials. Each storm that comes to you, Christian, comes through the sovereign and providential hand of Almighty God. Even that which the enemy throws at you comes under the sovereign umbrella of our living God. Amen. Now, for some, that may put you into a bit of a tailspin. You're thinking right now, like, are you telling me that even when tragedy strikes, that somehow God is sovereignly over that? And what I'm telling you is God is sovereignly over all things. Sovereign means sovereign. And while that may mess with some people's heads and their theology, if it requires some deconstruction, then let whatever needs to be torn down come down so that the truth can be built up and serve as the foundation of your faith. Friends, it's good news that we serve the sovereign living God and that we know that our creator Christ is over all things. Because at the end of the day, if you can rest in the truth and love of Romans 8, 28, that God is in fact, capital G God, our God, is in fact working all things together for the good of those who love him and are called according to his purposes, when the storms continue to roll in, when the trials and the fires seem to have this rolling, never-ending nature, you can rest, you can have peace, you can rejoice through these storms and fires because you know the truth in love that is God's word, God's will, and God's way. Because you know the truth in love of his grace, his gospel, and his glory. Oh, may it be so for you today and every day. Amen and amen.